Hey friends, I uh, hope you're having a good week. Uh, David and I are here on the uh, patio outside of the Fellowship Hall. Uh, and we're here because Saturday Sanctuary got started last weekend on Saturday. That's right. I've, I wasn't here, but I've heard rave reviews. It was a great uh, first Saturday beginning to the Saturday Sanctuary uh, season. Neighbors back who we haven't seen for a while. It feels like we're using this space in the Fellowship Hall the way that maybe it was intended. Oh, it was exactly the way it was intended to be. And it was cool to see our, our neighbors you know, gathered out here and to see some of our church members inside and you know, being in a relationship and conversation and, and serving food. It was great. We'll be doing it every Saturday. If you are interested in volunteering or learning more, please reach out, contact me, and I would love to tell you about it and help you figure out how to, how to sign up and be here and be a part of what we're doing on Saturdays. So uh, our session met last night and we approved the plan for Advent and Christmas, our, our calendar. So we've got wonderful things coming up and you know that you're planning for Thanksgiving and Christmas coming. Well, so are we. And in a couple of weeks, we'll put that out in a brochure. So I hope you're on the lookout for it. Uh, on Sunday, David is preaching and we're beginning a kind of two week series in a way in Matthew, two classic parables in the gospel according to Matthew. David's got the first one on Sunday. That's right. Matthew 25, not probably the text that immediately comes to your mind from Matthew 25, even before the uh, whatever you've done to the least of these you've done to me. The passage I'll be looking at this week, I'll, I'll really be wrestling with because it's a, it's a troubling passage. It's a curious passage. It's, it a, it's about 10 bridesmaids, uh, five foolish, five wise, and some get into the wedding party and some don't. So we'll, we'll wrestle with that together and, and see if we can see what God is doing in and, and through that text. We'll see what our expert biblical interpreter does with that passage. Uh, and then next week I have an uh, equally challenging passage known as the parable of the talents, but it's, it's a lot more than that. So you know, join us for these next couple of weeks. Uh, on this Sunday, the youth choir is also going to be singing at our 11 o'clock service. So that, that's, a, that's an exciting thing as well. Last thing I want to mention is stewardship. As you know, stewardship campaign is continuing. We're hoping to wrap this up by Thanksgiving. We are uh, about three quarters of the way there. So we're really getting in close to the finish line. And if you have not made a pledge yet, you can help us get there. And if you have, thank you so much for your faithfulness and generosity to uh, this congregation. Take care and we'll look forward to seeing you on Sunday.